Welcome to another episode of Project Renegade. In this episode, we've got more SoundStream equipment. If you haven't caught the last couple episodes, make sure to go back and check those out. In those episodes, I installed some sound deadening from GT Sound Control. I installed a set of Soundstream RC6 component speakers in the front and the rear doors, along with a Soundstream Picasso Nano amplifier. And in this episode, we're going to install the Soundstream head unit. It's got navigation, it's a single den with the flip up screen, touch screen, Bluetooth. It's got all kinds of features. So you probably guessed this episode is also brought to you by Soundstream like the last video. Um, they were nice enough to send all of this equipment. So in this video, we're gonna show installing the head unit. I've got a backup camera that I'm going to install along with it. And once we've got this installed, you'll finally get a chance to hear the Soundstream RC6 component speakers that I installed in the last episode. Here's everything that comes in the box. You have the head unit, your instruction manual, some mounting hardware, a uh, remote, your GPS antenna, and of course your wiring harness. This head unit actually has a flip out screen like you can see here. It is touch screen. It has built-in navigation, Bluetooth, has a built-in Bluetooth microphone, so you can make phone calls and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get everything moved around here and we'll get this installed. So here in the back of the Jeep, I am tapping into the reverse lights for the signal to turn on the camera. All right, so we've got everything ran and taken care of. We've got our backup camera, the RCAs for the amplifier, the harness is wired up. Uh, it's a pretty standard harness, just like any other head unit that you would have. The only difference being these are the speaker wires and we're not actually using any of those. I put some heat shrink on the end of them and folded them over so they couldn't connect with anything. And we have the cage locked in place. We're gonna go ahead and install this. But what I'm gonna try to do is go ahead and feed all the wires through here first. Okay, now we've got the head unit in and I'm gonna put our trim panel back on. You probably can't see anything I'm doing. It's not all that entertaining, I promise. I have to go through and get all of the settings set up so that the screen will come out when I start it. Um, I want to check one thing here, see if, okay, the reverse camera is on. Uh, it needs adjusted quite a bit. As you can tell, it's a little sideways. And uh, I think that's the back of the spare tire, I believe. So it does need some adjustment, but that comes on automatically when I go into reverse. I'm gonna go grab a DVD and see what the screen and everything looks like with video and stuff. I gotta find something that's copyright free, of course. So 
So I wanted to demonstrate, you know, how loud it was to you guys. But I was trying to figure out how to do that. Um, not necessarily how loud it was, but how how clean and clear it was. You know, how how good the uh, the mid and the bass response was. Uh, but no matter what I do when I record it, whether you know I record with my wireless microphone or my shotgun microphone or just the built-in camera microphone, when you watch or when you listen to the video, you're only hearing your headphones or your speakers. You know, it's, so when it comes to sound, it's really, really hard to convey what something sounds like. I took the, uh, the original head unit, the original speakers, there was no sound deadening in the doors, and I set up the decibel meter so you could kind of see it in the corner and so you could see the radio. Um, EQ was set flat, nothing was boosted and nothing was cut. And I basically just hit play on the song and turned it up until I got right around the 80 decibel range. <laughs> And then I did the same thing with all of the new Soundstream equipment. So yeah, if you came across this and you're not one of my subscribers, make sure to go into my channel and uh, check out a couple other videos. I've got quite a bit of stuff in there. Um, I know here recently it's all been pretty much Project Renegade videos, but I've also got you know Project Dirty Willy, which is a uh, 2015 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I've got all kinds of different stuff, uh, so it's more than just Project Renegade. So make sure to check out a couple videos in there. If you find a video that you like, make sure to hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. Make sure to share the videos if you find one that you like. And if you find a couple videos that you like, make sure to subscribe to my channel.